another LEGO Star Wars 20, Spring 2019 review, and this one is on Duel on Starkiller Base. So on the front of the box here, you see LEGO logo, Star Wars logo, with that usual border that we've seen since the Winter Wave, picture of Rey and Kylo Ren in action, and age recommendation 6 and up, set number 75236, it has 191 pieces. It's same box size as the uh, uh, 20th anniversary dropship set and whatnot. Then on to the back you see. Uh, you get this from the features of it and also a nice snippet from the film and yeah. And now on to the booklet. On the front of the booklet, same pictures on the front of the box and everything. On the back, how to win on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set, and after the action battle sets, which I will review soon. And then after all the mini things in the current wave, and after Lego Life, then the last building steps, of course. So, first of all, for our main figure, just hang on a sec. First of all, for the mini figs is Ray, and this image is the usual outfit that she has had on, or that she has on at the end of the Force Awakens and through most of the, and at the start of the Last Jedi. Back of which is uh, hairpiece, same as it's been since 2015. And, and well. Also has also the usual double sided face. This end of course wielding the blue lightsaber, obviously. And then next choice is Kylo Ren. Well the unmasked version, but with the light like, scar detail to him, also present at the end of the Force Awakens. Would also with the black marking one of which that we had in the a uh, Kylo Ren TIE Fire set in 2018. There's his back printing, very brief. And also his double side face, which doesn't have the scar piece. And lightsabers piece, same as it's been since 2015 as well. And yeah, and that's it with that. And now on to the, the main set itself. So it, which kind of mainly like a little bit of Star Killer base, obviously. Let's see some nice trees with give you some, with those like leaf pieces, but in white, which is a nice good touch to it. And also do get one of the like big ugly rock pieces as well, which also put to some nice use. And then. And if you wonder what the like circular things or little tie plates are for, is to put your mini figures on too, obviously. Like put them on to each spot like so. And kinda like the Petroleum Guard battle pack from earlier this year, where you can like switch them back and forth and fight each other. But although I feel like you can miss them, and then can like make them knock the trees down and like in that movie but however with this tree of which does have a hidden compartment that reveals a, a stunt shooter and it's kind of interesting which of course wasn't present in the scene or well kind of it was but whereas with the other tree of which can like squish in there and then knock it over as well and of course, one thing to make me, in the course of how it hap this scene happens is you can like split it open and do have some of those translucent pieces acting as lava and all. And on the bottom of which does have those like rounded plate pieces just to make it move smoothly and whatnot. And then, 
And of course, like a lot of Star Wars playsets nowadays, they just bear open on the back, and yeah. And now on to the final verdict. So this overall, a uh, pretty good set for like the big climax of the Force Awakens. So if Rey and Kylo Ren's big fight and whatnot, and of course, but also perfect for making a mock of Star Killer base. And yeah, if you're looking to get this set, I'd say definitely go ahead and get it. Like for your collection of Force Awakens or just sequel trilogy, and yeah. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.